What is up everybody, Hungry Cabion here. This video is brought to you by buyptcgocodes.com. They are sponsoring us. Um, they've also given me a nice little uh, promo code. So if I want to add these to my shopping cart, yes, I want 50 Darkness Ablaze packs, please. Oh, look at that, I already have 50 in there. And I've already applied my, uh, <laughs> my uh, coupon code, Cabion5, to get 5% off. So if you're interested in codes, please check them out and tell them I sent you. What is up everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. Got something cool for you. It's been a while since I've been able to find any of these around. Mystery Cube. 500 yen Mystery Cube as you can see. It's got a shiny on the front, which is very nice. Cramorant, don't have him. 500 yen, including tax, very reasonably priced. And the sh this shop that I got these from before, very generous in the past at least anyway on what they put in there so i'm hoping that that continues and that they've kind of put a bunch of good stuff in there it is only five dollars but i don't have this they cost a few bucks we also get a toxtris dv max which i definitely have enough of those but it's, it's quite thick so i'm intrigued to see what else we get i do have one other one they had quite a few but a couple of them i had only the like amazing rares on the front so i was kind of like eh i have like five or six of each one so I'm not so excited by just that so anyway we'll <sighs> tape the bane of my existence is tape I don't want to like open it before the video though because then it's like you just put whatever in there I don't know why I would bother going to the effort there's not going to be anything that <laughs> that good in here it's not going to be like Oh, there was like a rainbow rare Charizard in here or something, you know. That is not going to happen. But, uh, we could potentially get some fun stuff. They're usually putting like gym promos, oh my god, etc. in there, which is quite nice. Why do I have such, eh, pitiful fingernails. Alright, how can I get into this? There's got to, we just need like one in. And this is... If you've seen any of these videos before, this is kind of how they often begin. Me struggling to open the packaging. Can we get it? I think. Oh my gosh. It's so close. I don't I have a box cutter right here, but I'm hesitant to use it because I don't really want to slice the cards for obvious reasons. But at some point we gotta just give up, don't we? Wait, wait. Yes, all right. They always put this tape that just like breaks so easily. There we go, all right, we're in. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So really like even just the Cramorant is pretty good because I don't have that. And depending on where you get them from, these shinies are like a few bucks. So let's kind of split until there's nothing. I could see there was something behind there. He's a nice shiny boy. What's the condition like? They're already not that good. And it's like stuffed in a cube and I manhandled it to open it. But it actually looks all right. So we've got our Cramorant. He's looking good. We know we got the ooh, Toxtricity on the back. Let's just have a look. Hey, all right, we got this EV promo, the V start deck. I guess they're not worth anything because I got a bunch of these now. Yeah, okay, we got two. They might be worth something one day. I got three, four. Okay, maybe they're not worth anything. I feel like it's reasonably desirable, right? And that's a reverse. Reverses. Okay, we're getting... Maybe I should try to make a master set. Okay, they're not reverses. Because I've got a ton of re these reverses in mystery packs recently. Okay, so these are not from that newest set. Ugh. Rare candy. It's from Sword and Shield base set. Metal Sorcerer is pretty good, honestly. That's not a bad little card to throw in there. Got that lucky egg. 
Okay, I mean, so far I'm already very happy. And like I said, they're very generous on the <laughs> what they give you. So they had a few more. I might have to go back and buy them, even though the card on the front was like, not particularly what I wanted. There's some good stuff inside. And I don't know about like how popular these are from that shop, but like, I feel like I just want to go buy all of them now. All right, we got Ultra Necrozma. Oh man, Guzmo and Harlow is super expensive at the moment. Like three or four dollars. So that is sweet. Beast Energy, oh man, that was expensive. Speed, okay. For five dollars, this is very, very, very reasonable, honestly. I'm gonna go back and buy the rest of them, I think. Speed lining, oh my gosh. All right, this is very good. Horror Psychic, The Grass. We got tons of stuff in here. Lucario Mel Metal. We're gonna sleeve up everything, don't worry. Aurora Energy, that's very good. Stagerna. Talon Flame. There's a VMAX in here as well. I can see it. Wobbuffet. Oh. Okay, that's very good. Alright. Nessa. Nessa. Nessa, Nessa. Oh. These are like two bucks at the moment as well. Alright, we're definitely going to go back and buy the rest. Yeah. For sure. Alright. Dave, that was very good on this. I'm definitely going to buy the rest. Alright. If they're anything like this, it's very, 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 very good. Okay. Can we get anything more? I feel like that's got to be it. But I mean, honestly, like, oh, that's good as well. If we just go down to a card shop, we can sell all this for like more than what we paid for it. What are they thinking? Maybe they made it before the cards increased in value. Maybe they just don't consider those cards to be that valuable, but I know a card shop that does. So I am shocked, honestly at how good that was. That is craziness. So like, just these two cards alone, you can sell for 500 yen at a card shop, which is what we paid. And then we still get all this other stuff, just for free, essentially. Like, I don't really have that much interest in just keeping random trainer cards, you know what I mean? But like, so if there are a few bucks, I'm definitely gonna sell them. And I mean, Sent Scorch VMAX, yes, it did get reprinted. This is not the reprinted one, but before that new set came out, this was very expensive. Like, you know, mm, I, I don't want to say very expensive, but like, you know, in the eight to ten dollar range, which is not nothing, you know, it's reasonably pricey for just a VMAX. These other ones are kind of throwing ones, but I mean, even the Talon Flame, you know you can sell for a little bit. And a lot of card shops will pay you like 50 yen as a, for just a, a V or a GX, as long as it's still legal. So even if we just factored in that alone, that's basically paying for it. You know, I know it's kind of redundant to like buy it and then just sell all the stuff in there, but like there's nothing that we don't have particularly except for that in here that we don't have like a ton of. So it's just kind of like a free a free video. Like we might even make a profit. So that is very nice indeed. I'm definitely gonna go buy the rest. I think they had like three or four more. Yeah, we'd be buying the rest for sure. I just wanted to see what they're like. And then we got this, which we knew about, but it's not that exciting because I have 10 million of them. And we got the beast energy. That was like a really expensive card when that uh, first came out. So, I mean, those, just those two alone are very good. And like all these things, like the, the horror energy and all that stuff, they're all like 50 cents each. You know, it's, it's madness. What are they, what are they doing? I mean, I'm, I'll take it for sure. Maybe this was just a good one. I don't know, I have, I have one more. I'm gonna sleeve these Eevees just cause they are promos and it's an Eevee, so. I feel like that is like way more generous than some of the other ones I've opened before where they're just like, 
literally the only thing that you get is just the card that's on the front and the rest is just like bulk. Like this. But I mean, look at all the stuff that isn't bulk. I mean, maybe you could consider some of those trainers uh, to be bulk, but like this was worth nothing when the set came out, but now it's kind of expensive, the scope. So you never know, like some of those could become expensive later on. And, and when I say expensive, I mean like you can sell it for $2 at a card shop, but they're pretty easy to get. Like if you open a bunch of packs, I probably have like, I don't know how many, I got to go through all my trainer cards and find them, but I'm going to fish them all out and go sell them. Why not? Because I don't really care to keep like 20 of them, but I can go and sell them for 40 bucks, which is pretty good. So yeah, I got a, <laughs> I got a stack just right next to me of trainer cards. This is, that's half of them. This is the, another half. That's just one pile. So we'll dig through and see if we can find more. Anyway, that was ridiculously good. I have one more and I'm going to go get the rest. So yeah, <laughs> let me know what you think guys. Probably get used to seeing these. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.